वेलकम बैक टू दर वीडियो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट फाइलम दैट इज इकाइनो डेरमेटा द इकाइनो डेरमेटा एज द नेम इकाइनो डेरमेटा हैज बिन टेकन बिकॉज ऑफ द स्पाइंस स्किन इकाइनो मीन्स स्पाइंस एंड डर्मा मीन्स स्किन इन इकाइनो डेरमेटा यू विल ऑब्जर्व in all the organisms which are included in this kingdom uh, sorry in this phylum they are having the skin and the skin has spines actually just beneath to the skin that is beneath to the dermis layer the endoskeleton is found that endoskeleton is made up of calcium carbonate so many ossicles the calcium carbonate ossicles are to be there and this calcareous structure is projected through the skin and that's why the surface of the skin is very spiny so because of the spines present on these animals they are also known as spined animals and all these spined animals they are mainly included into this phylum and that is echinodermata as per habitat is concerned the members of echinodermata they are found into the marine habitat they do not found into the fresh water either on the land or on in the terrestrial condition so the animals they are found into the marine habitat as per the body level of organization is to be there they have the organ system level of organization is there like the mollusk here the organ systems are to be there i will teach you about the digestive system excretory system is absent but excretion also takes place i will teach you through the tube feet but some of the systems definitely nervous system is also found but very simple so the level of organization is up to the organ system level of the body organization as per symmetry is concerned the body symmetry is mainly radial they have the radial symmetry like in the case of starfish you can see this diagram starfish asteris सी अर्चिंग स्पेशली इन द स्टार फेस द पेंटा मेरस रेडियल सिमेट्री इज टू बी देयर इफ यू विल कट द स्टार फेस बाय कंसिडरिंग इट सेंट्रल एक्सेस इट विल शो द रेडियल सिमेट्री एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी डिवाइड थ्रू ऑल द आर्म्स एंड डेट्स वाई फाइव फॉर्म्स आर टू बी देयर एंड डेट्स वाई इट इज पेंटा मेरस radial symmetry but simply up to class 11 in class 11 you can note down the radial symmetry is found but in the larval stage whenever you will talk about the larval uh, larvae stage in the larvae it shows bilateral symmetry so the adult one shows the radial symmetry while one, while the larvae stage or you can say the larval stage so bilateral type of symmetry the animals they are triploblastic it means the animals they are having the three germ layers these are ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm the body is silomic they are silomates the silom is found as you know the silom is the body cavity present in between the gut and the body wall 
so here like in the case of starfish sea urchin and other members of the echinoderm uh, other members of echinodermata the body coelom is found the body cavity is found and that's why they are called coelomic animals as per digestive system is concerned that they have the digestive system and the digestive system is complete the complete digestive system is having the both the apertures that is mouth and anus both they are present and if the mouth and anus both they are present for ingestion and digestion separately the digestive system is called complete digestive system and in this case the digestive system is complete in echinoderms the mouth is located on the lower side on the ventral side while the anus is present just opposite to the mouth that is on the upper side this is also known as dorsal side so mouth is located ventrally that is on the lower side and anus is present dorsally that is on the dorsal side the head is absent in this case you can't observe that which one is the head part you can see this diagram you can't observe that head is present the head is absent in the case of starfish and other members <coughs> and <coughs> water vascular system it's very very important for this phylum echinodermata that they have the a special type of the vascular system and that is called water vascular system the water vascular system contains a structure that is called tube fit it, it is very very important and this tube fit helps in the process of locomotion capturing of the food or you can say it helps in feeding transport of the food respiration as well as excretion it is very very important this is the main characteristic feature of this phylum echinodermata that echinodermata have water vascular system and this water vascular system helps to helps in the process of locomotion it means for the movement to take the prey to capture the food as well as to transport the food it also helps in the process of respiration and excretion you can observe that in the water vascular system so many small tubular projections are to be there and these small projections small tubular structures they are known as tube fit even you can observe in the image or in the youtube and you can observe about the starfish or any other echinoderms and you can see the diagram uh, the structure of the tube fit the tube fit so many fine tubular structures small tubular projections they are present in all these arms and the structures are called tube fit and tube fit mainly helps in all these processes so it is very very important that the water vascular system is found in the echinoderms are in the members of echinodermata excretory system is absent to discharge the nitrogenous waste materials the starfish or you can say the members of echinoderms or echinodermata they don't have the excretory system and tube fit helps to eliminate to remove the undigested food materials outside to the body as well as sorry to remove the nitrogenous waste materials outside to the body means the tube fit helps to remove the nitrogenous waste or you can say it helps in the process of excretion they don't have the separate system to eliminate the waste materials 
द नर्वस सिस्टम इज ऑल्सो वेरी सिंपल मीन्स द कम्प्लेक्स नर्वस सिस्टम इज एबसेंट सम ऑफ द नर्व गेंगलियॉन दे आर फाउंड इन टू द सेंटर ऑफ द बॉडी एंड दे आर ऑल्सो प्रोजेक्टेड इन ऑल द ऑर्म्स सो द नर्वस सिस्टम इज वेरी सिंपल द सेक्सेस आर सेपरेट मीन्स द एनिमल्स दे आर डायोसियस द मेल एंड फीमेल both they are separated to each other there is the sexual dimorphism and thus they are known as dioecious animals they reproduce by sexual reproduction as you know in the case of sexual reproduction both the parents both the opposite sexes are required male and female and both they are helpful in the process of reproduction both they produce the gametes and gametes after fusion produces the zygote and zygote develops into the young ones the fertilization is external means the fertilization occurs inside the water not inside the female body so the fertilization is external development is indirect means the larval stage comes in their life cycle the zygote do not directly develops into the young ones and because of the larval stage included in their life cycle the development is indirect and the swimming stage the larvae is the swimming stage it can move from one place to the another place so the larvae they are motile they can swim they can move from one place to the another place so the free swimming larvae stages are present and example this is the structure of the starfish in most of the echinodermata the echinoderms they are having the different arms these five arms are there and that's why on the basis of the arms it looks just like the star like in shape and that's why the name is starfish and the scientific name of the starfish is asteris these all arms they have the spines and the spines they are protective in function they protect the animal from the predators and thus you can say they are helpful to protect the animals from outside they protect them from the predators the arms they are having the all these parts to fit inside to help to capture the food and then they put the food inside the mouth this is the mouth and just opposite to the mouth there is the anus so that's all about the characteristic features of echinodermata but it is very very important if anybody is asking that what are the <clears throat> main characteristic features of this phylum echinodermata so two to three points you have to keep in your mind which makes the phylum unique from other phylums the first one the echinodermata they have the endoskeleton made up of the calcium carbonate this endoskeleton is present just beneath to the skin just below to the skin and this endoskeleton finally they get projected outside and thus they are having the spines on their skin you can observe in from the outside so <clears throat> the spines means the projections which are calcareous in nature they are spined animals the spines are present on their body and that's why the name echinodermata has been kept echino as i told you means spines and derma means skin means the spines are present on the skin and that's why they are said to be echinodermata so spines presence of spines on the skin the first feature of this phylum why the spines they are going to be appeared because the calcium carbonate endoskeleton which is made up of the calcium carbonate the 
they are present just below to the dermis region and this is projected in the form of spines on the skin and that's why they are called spined animals and the second very very important function uh, sorry feature of this phylum that is water vascular system the water vascular system is the special feature of this phylum that in the water the water vascular system helps in the process of locomotion to capture the food to transport the food for the process of respiration as well as for the process of excretion and this water vascular system is made up of so many tubular structures not only the tube feet other tubular structures are also found but tube feet is very very important and this tube feet which is the part of the water vascular system helps in the process of capturing the prey in the process of <clears throat> locomotion tube feet helps in the process of movement locomotion as well as in the process of respiration and even excretion also so the tube feet the presence of tube feet the vas water vascular system these characteristics make this phylum unique the tube feet is not found in other phylums and some other features that the body is the but uh, the compound the digestive system is complete having two parts the mouth and anus and mouth is present on the ventral side and while the anus is present on the upper side and also this phylum or the animals which are included in this phylum they don't have the head as most of the animals they are having the head thorax abdomen but their part is not divided in the head thorax and abdomen the head is absent and body is also unsegmented so these are the features of this phylum echinodermata tomorrow i will teach you the next phylum that is hemichordata and then the last topic will be there that will be the chordata in chordata i will explain about all the classes four classes like species reptilia amphibia mammals so very soon this chapter is going to be over then we will discuss the next chapter so thanks everyone tomorrow i will teach you the next topic thanks everyone thanks a lot